It's, it's early, obviously, um, but it's been good. You know, I think it started, or I know it started uh, last year. You know, um, as wild as this sounds, I'm thankful for what we went through last year, for the fact that, you know, it's the first time we've ever had multiple guys returning that, that were significantly part of the team and, and played, you know, big minutes. And what those guys learned from last year has put them so far ahead of you, like your typical sophomore. And just the way they carry themselves now, their confidence, they've experienced the good and the bad. Um, they've been able to battle through it. They've, they've grown so much. Um, and so those guys have really been, been really good this spring, not only, you know, academically, which is what we talk about. Um, you know, when you're trying to be really good, you got to be good in every phase of your life. And those guys knocked it out. You know, we talk about 12 guys over, a, I believe it was a 3-0. Um, but those little details will carry them and did carry them into spring workouts. Um, and now that's going to carry them into leadership in the summer with the new guys. And so now you're seeing an older team. You know, when you add, um, you know, three players that are grown men that have been through it with a hardened younger group, um, you know, you're going to see improvement. And, and so that's been, it's been exciting. Again, it's early. We've got a long ways to go, but I really, this has been a fun group so far, a willing group that, that's ready to work um, and a group that, that I think is going to you know, be, be in position to, to be ready to, to hit the ground running come fall with a good summer. How about the big guy from? You talked a little bit about you know, just progress with Parker and Isaiah, where they're at, and what, what if any, you can expect from them in the season. Yeah, no, so far it's been good. I mean, those guys um, have been relentless with their work. Uh, it's wild. I mean, it, literally, I've seen them every day for two years go through the type of rehab that they've had to go through. And I don't know if people fully understand what that's like every day, um, not only the physical, but the mental, the mental uh, part and how taxing that is. But um, now that they're on the court and able to do stuff um, with the team and be, you know, they were obviously part of the team, but now to really work out and be part of the team on the floor in the weight room, um, it's been good to see. And now it's just our job. We got to be smart with it. You know, our goal isn't just to have those guys available for, you know, July and August, but for next season. And so, um, you know, we'll rely heavily on them and, and how their body feels and rely on uh, our athletic training staff to figure out what the next steps are. But um, so far, it's been really good, really positive. And again, I think the to me, it's their mental state more than anything. I know physically, because they've been through it, that they're going to be fine. And now it's just you want those guys to be mentally ready. And, and when they when they go in and, and they're able to go full contact and, and play, that they're they're feeling confident out there. Kind of leaders are, are they? Like, you can talk about each one. Uh, Isaiah Parker. Yeah. You no, know, they've been good. Obviously, you know they've been through it. They've been, you know, Isaiah's, uh, you know, been here the longest. I, mean, I remember when I got hired. Uh, I mean, I was able to get with him maybe a month on the court, and and he was the only guy that was the returner, and so um, you know he's been through the league. He's been through. Um, you know, college basketball at the highest level, the longest. And so I think he's seen what goes into winning. Um, he understands that. Um, again, you're getting him now, you're getting an older Isaiah, where when you're forced to sit out, you kind of see things through a different lens. And so his maturity now is through the roof. This ain't the same guy even close to that I talked to two years ago. Um, and that's a good thing. It's credit to him that he's, he's really just mentally taken a step and again, he's a grown man. And um, his outlook, his leadership, um, the way he approaches practice, workouts, weight room, super appreciative. I think both those guys are, but super appreciative because he knows, um, you know, it's, it's nothing's promised. And I think the same thing goes for Parker. You know, he's always had a good attitude, um, relentless worker. He's not afraid to put in the time. Um, obviously, you guys know, very vocal. Um, you know when he's around, you know he's in a room. Um, but I think now, you know, again, another older guy uh, that's just excited for the opportunity now to finally get back feeling right. Um, a guy that's been itching to be in this position for obviously two years now. And so there is an excitement with that. And again, it's our job, you know, to make sure that their timetable is right. We don't want to cut any corners. We're never going to put a guy in any danger of, of being back too soon, especially now in the summer. And um, it was just sticking with the process and keeping those guys positive. Are they, are they in a 
the direction of this program and what he expects of you this upcoming season? Yeah, well, I mean, we talk all the time, you know, and I think, um, you know, Mark's great. He understands where we're at. He understands the process of this. I think, you know, we live in a, in a society now where it's, you know, it's microwave. And um, I just know that, like, when you let something bake, it tastes better, but it takes longer. That's the reality of it. And we're all, you know, we all fall into it. And I tell our guys, don't fall into the trap of that instant gratification, you know. And, and, and again, it's, it's everybody. Um, and I think, you know, if, you, if the guys can train themselves to do that, not only just in basketball, but just in life, that, like, that, that trap of it's got to be instant, it's like then once you get it and it's like it's that empty feeling, right? And, and you're always, it's like, what's next? What's next? It didn't, that success didn't happen quick enough, right? And I think for us uh, and for me, I'm so big on just that process driven. And if you want something to last, you have to be good with going through the suck. You do. Like, it's just, that's the reality of it. I firmly believe that. And, and I'm more than good with that um, because you're going to see um, the dividends of that in time. And, and again, you know, Mark's been great, um, but more importantly, our guys have been great. Our guys understand. That's why they, that's why guys chose to come back is because they saw themselves getting better. They saw progress. They understand there's a plan. Um, and that's why I'm excited about this year. Um, but I think we just, that's, that's the society we live in. You know, you're just trying to teach these guys that, uh, you know, it's, it's all about lasting long. And, and you want to you want to put yourself and it's our goal as a program to be a program that, you know, you can maintain and there's not those ebbs and flows. There's not this or that you're able to you have substance, you have a base and you're able to maintain.